my father blessed me to continue his work. And I had to find my way forward. And the inspiration came to develop a school in which serious seekers could gather. We would come together over the course of several years and spend days to d together in meditation, in prayer, and in, in study of the Sufi teachings of Hazrat Bira Moshe Dinayat Khan. And in this way, we would delve into the core practices of the inner school of the Inayatiya through four stages. Concentration, contemplation, meditation, and realization. very clear in making a resolution. From the outset, be very clear what, you are, what is your goal. Determine it from the beginning, be sure of it, and then go forward rather than changing one's mind again and again along the way. Make a clear resolution at the outset. Resolve upon that which is feasible. Yes, it may require great um, aspiration and effort, but something that is possible and which is beneficial and which you choose. And having chosen it, you go ahead and you don't give it up midway until you've attained it. So the essence of the Saluk experience is really a transformation that comes within when you begin the journey outwards. There's a transmission. There's an experience while we're here. It's like an oasis where you come and you drink the draft of sacredness and then you bring that with you back into life. I was already, uh, had been initiated for a year, but I was attracted when I read the quote from Hazrat Inayat Khan that says, Sufis, instead of teaching the lesson of indifference, have taught the lesson of love and sympathy and have called it the cultivation of the heart. At that point I realized that in my life, I had cultivated so many things in my career, in my family life, in my personal life, but I had really never cultivated my heart. And that was something that I felt I really needed to pay attention to at that point in my life. So we could take a moment uh, now to pause. You could ask yourself, what is the primary goal in my life at this time. Probably there is a combination of goals, but what is um, primary? What is the task before you? The, um, I think the thing that has moved me the most has been the opportunity to um, sit in the presence of uh, Pirzia, 
And um, you can read these teachings in books. You can um, maybe even watch them online or listen to the audio recordings. But there's something about um, being in His presence and the attunement that you feel by, by being here um, that is indescribable. And it's, it's a constant, it's a constant surrender, an unending surrender and a witnessing on levels and more levels and more levels. And these, these things cannot be spoken, but only taken with our physical steps, with the heart, with our eyes, with this inner seeing, with the inner um, ears. And I don't remember the specific practice, but I was sitting there and had this internal experience of being aware of all of that, all my ego and all of that anxiety and those feelings and internal states. And at the same time, there was enough internal space opened up that that could be there and I could engage in the practice. When I first um, heard about the uh, interpersonal interaction aspect of Saluk, I was very resistive because that's not my thing. <clears throat> and however, having participated in both the mentor groups and the pod groups, I've grown attached. These mentor meetings take place every afternoon. And then the pod, which is half the mentor group, becomes one pod, so the mentor groups split up in two pods. And this is where we get more personal, more intimate, where we very un completely unsupervised really talk about what is, what is on our hearts, what is in our minds, uh, where our souls are yearning to go. And um, we do sometimes go out for ice cream or, you know, dinner. You know, when faced with that ultimate thing, our praying. And I was just sitting there and I was just like in a place and I didn't intend to be there, but I just noticed how everyone was flowing. I mean, it's the alchemical process, rather than... Which is what? what are they, what's the deal? It's, uh, I mean, you guys what probably speak more to it. What you did on the three-day retreat is the alchemical channel for the divine healing power. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So, um, could I do it for myself? When I'm... Sure. What can I do to, for myself when I'm having surgery in April? Can I can I can I intone something? Can I Yasha Fiya Kapi? Can I do Yasha Fiya Kapi? On a winter's day, walking along the street in Sharon, where I live in Massachusetts, in the suburbs, and there was runoff from the snow. The snow was melting and there was sand in the gutters along the street side. And I was looking at the sand and the water and it was so beautiful. And <laughs> I was seeing beauty absolutely everywhere. I feel like something that has changed um, in my life and I feel like surely many things have been influenced by it, but especially our marriage has been carried very beautifully through this process. And infused with sacredness again and again. And I started finding out about new me and finding deeper levels of who I am. And that has been the question to explore myself and find out about that. And so Luke helped me to take some of these veils out and the layers out and dig deeper and go down that to the center, and um, and definitely change that. I it change it, it, it will change your life. It changes your life for the better. You're never the same. It grounds you. It gives you a whole community of kindred souls, and you will never look at life the same way again after taking Saluk. It's been a really incredible experience and each thing has unfolded exactly when it needed to. It's like this constant blossoming and even when you think a flower's finished blossoming, it's like blossoming a little bit more. And I think it's just really been a wonderful experience. And even though if you read many books and know a lot of knowledge, 
you're going to actually put it in practice and in a sense you're going to cook yourself. So give yourself the time. If you're on the border thinking whether I should commit or not, if you have the means to do it, I would definitely do it. Initiates of the path who are drawn to the possibility of a further study and who are looking toward Saluk, I would say to you, you will know when the time comes, when it is your time to step forward, to enter into this. You'll know, and there won't be any questions.